Hey guys, so uh, just got back to, from the theaters from seeing a double feature. It's been a cut while since I've done one of those. Um, it has been, hasn't it? It's probably about a month. But uh, I went and saw two completely different fucking movies. This is usually it goes with me and these double features. First being the new Demon Slayer movie, which uh, is probably going to be one of the more, probably the most successful movie of the weekend, I have a feeling. Um, I said both movies that I saw today are probably going to do pretty well. But, uh, yeah, Demon Slayer, what's the fucking title? I didn't look it up, so I got it right here. Demon Slayer Kimetsu no Yeba, and I'm butchering the pronunciation, so fucking shoot, sue me. Uh, Tuda Hashira Training. Um, I'm just going to call it Demon Slayer for this point. <laughs> I'm not going to say that whole title. So if you're wondering what I'm reviewing, there you go. So, as far as my past experiences with Demon Slayer goes, and the uh, show is in, in, a gener in general, I'm just going to be flat out honest. This is one that's going to be hard to review. Almost hard for me to review, but I'm going to you know, give my honest opinion on it. Uh, I've never watched the TV show. One fucking bit of it. Uh, I know of its existence. Uh, this is in another, a long list of, like, Japanese anime movies that come out to my theater where it's based off a TV show that I've never seen and sometimes never heard of. But I have heard of Demon Slayer. And I, there was, like, a Dragon Ball one. There was a Jujutsu Kaisen, which I never heard of until that point. Um, in my Hero Academia, I did hear about that before, it too, but, uh, I got one of those movies, too, I've seen one of those movies, too, but I usually go to every one of these with, like, a blank slate, having never seen any of the, sh the, the material it's based off of, and I usually enjoy them, for the most part, I enjoy them, I, including last year, I, the only stuff I've seen of the Demon Slayer franchise was the movie that came out last year to the swordsmith village um i did see that uh and i actually enjoyed it for the most part um i was thoroughly entertained and it's one of those and it's the same with this movie in that this is going to carry on in my thoughts on this movie and pretty much almost the same as this one and that I do appreciate both this movie and the movie from last year, and that they kind of, for people like, they, they kind of know that there's going to be people like me that have never seen this stuff before. Hell, there's probably parents, I know there's parents that took their kids to see this movie, even though this is far from a kid's fucking movie at all. Uh, that, like, well, t like that are going in and have zero idea what the fuck is going on, and so I give the movie credit. I'm trying to recap it for you, like the events of the previous stuff before, even though it's just in a music video. It does this in this movie, and it does it in the previous one. I can say positive things about this, uh, this movie, th this new one. Um, I never had much, even though I had not seen, you know. Other than I'd seen last year's movie, I still had a good enough time figuring out what was going on. I didn't, like, struggle throughout the movie, like, uh, comprehending what I was watching. I got pretty much a good chunk of it. There was stuff here and there that you go, eh, whatever. That's just, I, I guess that's is more for the fans of the actual series. I, like, I'll say this, like, for somebody who's never watched it, I actually do want to watch the series now, because out of all, all the, I pretty much out of all the animes, this is probably a series I probably would like the most, because it's violent as hell. I, I appreciate the hell out of how violent this series gets. Um, and that, like, it's unapologetic. And, like, there's just decap brutal decapitations. Uh, probably my favorite scene in this whole movie is when that one fucking demon cuts off the woman's head, and the maid's talking to her like, Mrs.? Like, still talking, it's like, are you alright? That bitch got her fucking head cut off, what do you think that happened? She's alright. I slapped my ass off of that. Um, 
Like, like, I love that this movie's unapologetic, and there's some brutal shit involving children. <laughs> like, we're getting... There's one... Well, like, there's a good portion of, like, the first part of this movie where the little girl who's the, sit, the main kid's sister... I don't... I'm not even gonna try to pronounce their names. Don't fucking yell, yell at me. So, um... Where she's just like burning alive, and I was like, "Holy shit, is this getting graphic?" Like, it's like I give this movie fucking credit. It's a full hard R. It's like, I'm like this is this is my kind of fucking thing. I'm like, I'm all bored for this, man. Um, I don't know if Jason Tyson was another one. I was like, oh, no, I might even want to watch this <laughs> the series because it's like it's like it's a hard R. It's not a kids show. It's for adults, uh, and like, I appreciate that. Um, my main issue with this movie, and I call it a movie because it really is not a fucking movie, is that maybe if I'm, if somebody in the comments could yell at me, and maybe I'm wrong on this, but I'm, this is what I've gathered from, from this movie and from the previous movie from last year. Is that these movies are not an actual fucking movie. They're just basically episodes of the TV show put together as a movie and put out in the theaters. Am I correct in that? If so, that's fucking bullshit. <laughs> like, that is some fucking horseshit. There's at least with like, yeah, like the Dragon Ball movie, the Jujutsu Kaisen movie, the My Hero Academia movie, they were like kind of almost commercials for some, for the most part, for their TV shows because, like, they were like basically, from my gather, they were like basically take what was happening in between seasons, which it's not the first time we've had movies that are based off TV shows that were showing what happened in between seasons. We had stuff. One of my favorite, uh, good fucking example, Beavis and Butthead. Do America is a good example. Uh, what's the other one I just took off the top of my head? My, as a kid, Mighty Morphin Power Rangers. When the fucking movie, the movie, when they had the movie come out, it wasn't just a bunch of episodes to tie together. It was an actual fucking thing. It was its own story, and it took place between the fucking seasons. This is just a cop out, and it's just like, why the hell are they doing this? I know it's going to make a lot of money, but why don't they just make their own goddamn movie? Like, you can, like it's obvious the fucking fan base will watch it because there's people going to see this. Because, like, from what I gathered, it's like, it's like the last epi few episodes of the previous season, which is Swordsmith Village, which shows, like, has this climactic battle at the very beginning of it. And then, like, it cuts to the next season, or it's the start of the next season, and it feels very disjointed, because, like, the final act of what would be a normal fucking movie is then the fucking opening act. And it feels really disjointed. It doesn't feel like a cohesive story. It doesn't feel like, it doesn't have a middle, a, a first, a second, and a third act. It just has, like, it feels very random. I don't, and I don't like that one fucking bit. Like, that is annoying. <laughs> what is this shit? <laughs> like, why are we doing this? You can't really make a movie. Like, you, obviously, with this source material, you probably can make a decent movie out of it. But, like, I can't say I was pissed off about it. Like, because it was entertaining, and I was never bored by it. Because, uh, like, like I said, there's, but, like, the first half of the movie was more interesting than the second half, and that kind of didn't bother me a little bit. What I because I, I remember liking this, I remember liking the movie from last year, which did the exact same fucking thing. But now that I'm seeing it for her second year in a row, now I'm kind of like, okay, now this is getting bull. This is kind of becoming bullshit. So I even guess I give this like it's hard for me to grade this. This is like. I, I'm not like you know, too familiar with the source material, but from a standpoint, like well, I said, it didn't really piss me off. The animation's really good, and it's very 
very unique. Like the story is very, very unique. I can't say it is. Um, for those reasons, like, like I was never bored. I gotta give it at least a C. It's not like a D or an F. Hell no, it's not. Like that grade is like for fucking really bad movies, and this wasn't a bad movie. It just was like. A big giant advertisement for a goddamn TV show that, like, I mean, it pisses you off when, like, the, the movie ends the same way the other one ended, or basically just shows you of a a preview of the coming attractions of the next season of Demon Slayer, which makes you go, "What the fuck am I watching?" Like a preview of what's coming that that's not going to be in theaters, like. I just, there's people who are paying like 12 bucks a ticket for this fucking thing, and you're gonna expect them to watch something they can just watch something for fucking free? Fuck you. Like, that's a bullshit. <laughs> like, I, I don't, I, I don't care for that very much. Uh, that, that, that stuff pisses me off a little bit. This is greedy. Like, like I said, at least, or, like, the other stuff, like I said, turn into their own story. This is not. <laughs> like, fuck you, man. Uh, like I said, I, I can't really say I hate it. Like I said, I, I will say this. It does make me interested in watching the Demon Slayer series. So I'll give it that. So it did its job on that end. But uh, that's as far as Demon Slayer goes. Uh, I have one more review to do. Until then, I'll talk to you guys later. <laughs>